Hello everybody and welcome back to the cavern. It's Boondog here. Today we have a pretty excellent paint. My friend got me a couple of prints from Land Prints and Paints off of Etsy. Uh, they're based out of Ohio. Um, and this one today is called The Changer of Ways. It's kind of like, I think Old Gods Cthulhu feel mixed with Fae. It, it's pretty excellent. So here is the character sheet. They come with character sheets for any print you get with full stats. Um, he's got a little bit of viscera stuff going underneath. And here's the print. Now, I loved the print quality of this figure. Um, no seams excellently primed. Um, I did do another white prime for myself just to get the colors to pop a little bit more the way I wanted. It was just the solid gray prime. I didn't need to do any sort of finishing. Like you'll see with some of my custom, not custom, my, I'm sorry, some of the WizKids prints, they still have the seams and stuff and I'll leave them on just because I don't feel like messing with it. But the larger figures I like to clean up. But I didn't have to do that at this one at all. So I did a basic purple wash over pretty much the entire figure and then up top I started doing a gray light gray primer I wanted to have that purple still coming through because you can see on the character sheet it makes him look a bit hazy of course he's supposed to be kind of a fey figure um, my only complaint about this piece painting wise is it is a nightmare for some of the crevices um, you know you're sitting there trying to figure out how to angle the brush and you know maybe that's just because i'm newer and i should get different equipment maybe it'd be easier if i had an airbrush you know if i could get into some of those spots where people like people aren't going to be looking at the inside of these arches while they're playing they're, they're they're not it's not something players are concerned with but as a painter it was a little bit difficult to do so after i get those base layers on for the purple I did a little bit more purple work and then I went over with an ashen brown and ashen gray. Um, it kind of added that ruddy feeling to it and then I took a little bit of a twilight purple um, and went and did some accents over top of the ribbiting at the bottom. At the top I did more grays, a little bit of black. I'm not really going heavy on the purple in the figure itself like the person itself versus the the viscera red and and hues at the bottom um now this is the completed paint this took me quite a bit um after i did those gray and brown washes up top i did another gray and i pulled out my adamantium black now that paint is from years ago i don't know if they make it i need to see if i can find it again because it has a slight glimmer in it which underneath you know the play table and things it just looks excellent now i'm absolutely in love with how this figure looks but i would not want to paint it again <laughs> here you'll have a werewolf for scale i think that might be my new measurement system just so you can see how big this guy is now this is the brute also printed by the same guy again i love how it looks it's clean he's absolutely disgusting and i love him for it <laughs> he's got just this gross viscera feel um i'm like i i never had to match colors of an autopsy to a figure before but i mean here you go it's just it's excellent um all in all a little bit of a pain to paint these absolutely love his work uh link to his sites down in the description thanks all for visiting take care and I'll see you next time.